Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the three most popular brands in joysticks and buns. Uh, so what are the similarities? What are the differences? Which one should you buy and which one is better? So I'm going to be covering them in the following video. Uh, I'm going to be giving you a lot of information. Uh, if you're new to modeling your joystick, make sure you watch this video. Uh, I'm going to change the angle and show you guys a better view. Okay, let's start with the joysticks. So not only do they feel different, they look different. So over here we have the Hayabusa. The Hayabusa has this very big black boxy look to it. And it houses all the parts inside. I'm going to open it up in a minute. Um, the Sama here has, a, has the smallest system. All right. And over here with the Semisu, Semisu has a lot of components inside. Uh, it also got a lot of eight, like eight screws here, uh, and it has the largest like electronic board with the green electronic board here. So that's how you can tell from a Hayabusa, a Sama, and a Semisu right off the bat. Uh, comparing the Hayabusa and the Sama, the shaft they're they're the same size, same length. Uh, they look very similar, but comparing to the Semisu, the Semisu has a much shorter and a bigger shaft comparing to the other two. The other two is basically the same, but the Semisu has its own length and size going on. The Semisu has a much larger opening on the top comparing to the Hayabusa and the Samwa, they're the same size. Now let's open them up. This is the Hayabusa. So inside the Hayabusa, uh, you're going to you're going to see four micro switches. So when you when you move the ball top, the shaft, the the middle part is called the middle part is called the actuator. So the actuator is gonna basically hit the micro switches and that's how you get the directions. You might say, you might see why, like why is this moving? It's moving because I took the cap off. There is actually, uh, you see how there's like um, these things here? I don't know what they're called, but like, the, when I put the lid back on, this is gonna hold this in place. So, so don't think like if I'm moving this, you see how the micro switch is, is moving with, with my, um, when I'm moving it. So, but it is not, when you put the cover back on it, it, the four micro switch stays in place. Um, so if I take one out, let me take the easier one out right there, this one. So, whoop. You see, there's also one here that holds that holds one of them from the bottom, and the top one holds it from here. Uh, so when you move it, it doesn't move. Okay. So that's how it looks inside the Hayabusa. Now moving on to the Sanwa. Let me take the restrictor plate off. There we go. Okay. As you can see, it is very similar. Um, it's also it's just basically the same system. You have the, the the actuator in the middle and the four micro switches surrounding it. But com but uh, the difference is uh, on the Samwa, this piece actually is the the four micro switches is actually one piece. So it's like that. And then you have the electronic boards connecting to it. So if your joystick ever stops working or any any issues, you can actually just replace this part instead of replacing the whole thing. The last one is the Semisu. This guy is going to take a while. Okay, we finally got it off. So the Semisu is a little bit different. Um, 
comparing to the other two. Let me get it closer. So the Hayabusa and the Sama is very similar. You have the actuator and then you got the four uh, micro switches. Um, and then but on the Semisu, uh, their, their build is actually quite interesting how you have an uh, actuator and then you have four micro switches but they added this metal piece here um, so but it's but the uh, the concept is the same thing so that way when you when you move to a direction uh, the actuator instead of the actuator touching uh, the actuator touching the switch itself the actuator is actually pushing this metal sheet against the the switch so when i push this you see how it it pushes it up so the advantage of the semisu system over the sawa and hayabusa is that you can kind of say it offers a more uniform motion what that means is that because so for example if i'm pushing up right you can see that the actuator is just pushing the metal plate up uh, into the switch but let's say you're going diagonal so when you're going diagonal you know when when even at the start when you're moving it starts pushing both um, the metal metal sheets um, so when you're going diagonal it's kind of like pushing both switches at the same time so you get like a more uniform and precise direction so some people like that let's say on the sama right if you're going up let's say you're, you're going right now you're you're pushing up um, but if you're going diagonal sometimes right you might you might tap like you because there's no metal sheets you might uh if you're going diagonal if you're not going like precisely diagonal you might hit left first and then hit up okay now moving on to the buttons the Hayabusa has a matte finish not glossy on the edge and on the top here and the Sama has a more of a glossy finish on the edges and on the top here and the uh, Semisu Looks like this it has also a glossy and a uh, glossy on the edges too. So in terms of how they sound, the sama sounds like this. The Ayabusa sounds like this. And the semesu sounds like this. Three very different sounds. Let me just tell you that Sama makes a, a silent button as well, uh, aside from their regular buttons. So this is not exactly 100% silent, but it's a lot quieter than the regular one. You know. So you might ask, why is it, how is it silent? Let me show you. The reason that this one is silent is because uh, they put a rubber, a rubber wash, washer in here. So if you take this out, these two guys are exactly the same. Same thing. Let's open this guy up. Opening up, I think the lighting is bad now because the sun is going down um, but to open this uh, is a lot easier than the other two guys there's two tabs on the side let's see like if I push down it comes right off so like that can you see it? let's see like that so this is this is this is the the cap so the cap has let me see if I can show you like that so the cap has, the all three caps are the same. Uh, so the this is the Hayabusa, and that goes over here, on here. So when you push down, 
the cap is pushing down this switch. So that's how it's registering like this part. Okay. On to the Sama. So this is the Sama. Uh, exactly the same system, but more more plastic, a bigger cap. Much more material, much more plastic here. And then the same system, the same system that that the cap pushes down here. Similar. Okay. Now moving on to Semisu. Oh no, the sun is going down. You can totally see the the difference now, right? In terms of the lighting. Um. But yeah. This uh, same amount of plastic on comparing to the Samoa. And then you got the, the Hayabusa here. And on here, you also got the same system. Semisu got the same system of the switch that goes down. All right, let me turn turn on the lights. Also, guys, uh, make sure you clean your your buttons every few months uh, because over time, dust, oil, and like dirt uh, build up around the edges. Uh, so just take like a, a napkin and just wipe the edges and then clean. The inside of the buttons because when you open your button you're going to see um, things in here like dust oil and all things uh, things like that uh, so it's going to increase your responsiveness of your button um, so that way when you push the button it won't get stuck now let's take a look at the pressure test um, on the Hayabusa it requires very little effort for the button to press and then for the Sama it's very similar, but it requires a little bit more. And then on the Semisu, it actually requires a, quite a lot of effort for, for you to press down. So depending on what, um, what you like, this comes down to personal preference. Another detail I want to talk to you about is this is the Hayabusa, Samwa, and the Semisu. So on the Semisu, you can see that um, I can actually press the button on the side and that would trigger the, the button. But on the on the Sama here, you don't have that. You don't have that feature. When you press the the, uh, the side, the whole thing goes down basically, like that. And on the Semisu, the same thing. When you press the, the edges, the whole button goes down. So part of the reason the Hayabusa is so loose and easy to press down is because the way that is designed. Uh, so if you look directly into it, you can see that there's a lot more spacing between the cap and the outer button. And if I take this out, and you can see how little plastic, how thin the cap is, and how light it is. So that when you, when this is pressing down, so when you press down on the edges, because the cap is so thin, it, it will tilt and it will still register the, the, the button. Comparing to the Sama here, the Sama has a heavier cap, thicker plastic, much higher wall on the edges. So when you, when you press down on 
the size, there's no room for the cap to tilt because the wall is so so high. So when you press the edges, the the whole button actually has to go down and then register. Uh, and same thing for the semisu, uh, very similar design. A lot of plastic, thicker plastic, uh, more material here, heavier cap. So same same idea. It won't tilt when you press the edges. Just extra details for you guys. Now let's do a pressure test on the joysticks. And it's very obvious that the Hayabusa is the least stiff. And the Sanwa is like a medium stiff. And then the Semisu is the most stiff. This one requires the most force. And it doesn't really wiggle that much. But you can always change the spring inside. But these are by default uh, based on the default spring. There's one more detail I want to talk about before going into summary is that the Samwa and the Hayabusa feels almost exactly the same. The only thing that I can feel is that um, there is a bigger space between the actuator and the switch. So on, on the Hayabusa here, let me hold this down. So let's say if you go up, right, you can see there's a little space before the actuator actually hit the switch right here. You see, you, you see this? So the spacing between the actuator and the switch is larger than the Samwa. The Samwa here is pretty much touching. Not exactly touching, but, but it's very close. So as if I move this, it, when I'm moving this, the, you can see the red switch is already moving. So the input would go in slightly faster than the Hayabusa because there is a slight spacing here. So if you were to do a motion, basically the motion would be a little bit larger comparing it to the Sanwa here. Uh, on the other hand, the Semisu, there is actually no, no spacing. The actuator is actually touching the metal plate. So as soon as you move, the, the switch is moving. So if in terms of um, fastest input, I would say the Semisu would have the advantage over here. But because of the metal plate, you're, you're pushing a, onto like metal. So that's why the Semisu is, is uh, it requires a little bit more effort when you do motions. Because not only, not only you're pushing a switch, you're also pushing a the metal plate. But there's literally no space between uh, the switch and the actuator. So let's come back guys, let's come back. So that was a lot of information and a lot of details. So let's summarize this. Um, in terms of joystick, uh, the Hayabusa and the Sawa are very similar. The design and the mechanic is very similar. Uh, slight space between the actuator and the switch but aside from that, they're very similar. Um, they, this one is a little bit loose. This one is regular. This one is more tight. Uh, in terms of buns, the same thing. Uh, Hayabusa is a little bit more loose, uh, less material. Sama, I would say, is like um, normal, regular. And the Semisu is also tighter for, the, for their buttons also. Um, so the question is, which one is better? Um, the answer honestly is, um, it really comes down to how you play and your play style. Um, you know, some people prefer uh, a stick that is loose and some, pe some people uh, prefer a, you know, a stick that is tighter and more stiff. It's kind of like driving a car, right? So let's say on, on, on this guy, you know, you have a steering wheel that's, that's loose, but then 
uh, there's a space here, so your turns have to be like like a little bit wider. On the Sama here, you know, you can kind of say the steering wheel is just regular, and on the Samisu here, you can kind of say the steering wheel is like a little bit tight. So it all really comes down to the way that you that you play. I would say, um, which one should you buy? Um, honestly, if you can buy all three and try them out yourself they're not that expensive if you really want to find your like what really fits your play style i would say buy buy all three i'm pretty sure you have Samo already so just buy hayabusa and samisu and just give them a try because it's very hard to like watch a video on how let's say i describe the hardware and how it feels and how it works um, but if you haven't tried the other other parts um, you will never find out like which one really fits your style, you know So I would recommend buying all three and trying it out and see which one fits you better, you know We're almost done guys. One last question. Which combination do I use? Uh, for the joystick, I use Samwa and for the buttons, I use Hayabusa um, Mainly because back in the days when I first started um, Knowing not that much, you know, when you when you do like a research Everyone just talks about Sama, so at the time I bought Sama's joystick and Sama buttons and I, and I used it for such a long time So I maybe I have gotten used to the Sama joystick um, and then later on I bought a Hori stick uh, and they had Hayabusa buttons and at the time I actually preferred this button more than the Sama button I like how I like the way how it feels um, and how easy it is to to press and and how I like how it sounds. So my combination is Sama joystick and Hayabusa buttons, and I would recommend you guys to find your combination because you never know until you try it. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Me and my partner will have a lot more content coming soon. Uh, later down the road, we're going to have tournaments, we're going to have raffles and giveaways. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, leave a comment, leave a like. Um, leave a comment on which combination you use. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll, I'm very active on YouTube. Um, and I'll see you next time.